all right so welcome to this video in this video we're going to be building our own page so basically this is what we are going to be building in this section which is all this uh, so we are building them the like the prototype of what we've been needing then in the next video we are now going to consume our api and fetch our data from the database all right so seeing it um please make sure you like and subscribe and let's just get started all right so basically let's go ahead and start working on our home page all right so we on the home screen here what we can do is um first thing to get a, a visa is an app bar so let's get to have an app bar sorry so i'll call this um forum forum map and um background color should actually call us dot black okay so we should check this all right good and um, i want to remove the elevation that is there so you can see the elevation should be zero and i want to center the like two to be true all right good look at this you will notice there is a black and white thing you kind of stuff i'm going for <laughs> Right, so in this body here i'll make sure we can turn this to column all right so in this column here first we need is a uh, how will i say this so you want an input field okay so we can go ahead and say we want a container because i'm basically just coding this off my head there is no design or or help that i'm making it up so we are going to say text field I have this error. Why am I having this whatever? Constant. Alright. I can say we should be double dot infinite. Let's just give it a night of um, 100. We should check it out. So we have this input field here. Um, let's get a decorate this. So you can see. Input decoration equals to border input border dot none All right so i don't want any border there then we can go and decorate it here works decoration we can say gray oh uh, not great okay gray 200 actually so let's save this oh wow well, this so let's get this job we have having um Actually, you don't want this to be this rounded. You want to run this stuff, I'll add it to it later. And uh, uh, let's first save this and see what we are having on the normal notes. All right, so I believe this is um, kind of too much. So let's make it 50 actually. All right, so good. And um, I believe I can wrap this colon with a padding. So I want to set the padding for all of them. What is this? Sorry. Like I'm gonna have symmetry. I can go ahead and call this. Oh, I can. I can go ahead and call. I call this um horizontal. Then let's just call this starting point zero and let's see what we have. Okay, good. So that point zero is actually too much. So let's make it two point zero. Okay. No, 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 nope, nope, nope. For this case, I think I'm just going to remove this. And I'm going to add the padding to this. To this container itself. So, symmetric horizontal. Ten point zero. The way have vertical should be like 30.0. Or sort of. Something like that. So, let's save it and see. All right, good then it's actually too much you know to save this and yeah we should be having that then we can leave this at at our 70 actually all right good so i can go ahead and have an in text let's first have a border radius border radius the circular 10 all right so this okay then we can get to have in text what's on your mind okay let us do what you want to ask 
Ok, mais que c'est c'est vrai qu'on va dans nos contextes pas de de want to have um, edge at all. So it's about to do the symmetry horizontal. Horizontal. Let's just make it twenty point zero. So, so uh, what is this? So we have um space. Yep. I think I can have vertical, so let's just do vertical 10.0. Okay. Not sure that I made any, any changes, but you know, it's good to have it here. All right, so once this is done already, what we can go ahead and do is, um, yeah, I can go ahead and pick this and create it as widgets so we can. Extract widget and we're gonna call this um, the post field. So we're gonna call this post field and um, yep. So let's call this uh, and um, go to our widget post field dot dot import package. Plot that material that I can just get a piece of it here. And um, so we need to pass on what we need. So you can say final string in text, final text editing controller. All right, so you're gonna just pass it right here. Okay, good. So for this, for um, in this side here, we can go ahead and change this to int text. Then um, remove this constant. Then for this um, input field again, we can go ahead and call controller. It's equal to controller. Simple as that. Then we can go ahead and import it right here. Import. Um, what I want to import, okay. Widget the post field, right? So this is going to be in text. What you want to ask? Nope, and this is not what we actually want to have here. So for this one, let's get a quit final, all right? Good. Is this right here? And yeah, so we are good to go. All right, so once this is done now, we want to have a button right under it. So on size box, height, let's say 20. Now we can gotta have an elevated button. So have an elevator button, I'll make this empty for now. I want to have it text as a child. Okay. All right. So save this and let's check it. So we have posts and um, this actually is a little bit too much, I believe. So let's first comment it. I think we have it in our space. Okay, good. Now I can go and have style elevated button. So start from yeah color which is background color elevation should be zero and yep good so that is what i want and um i actually want this to to like come to the right side so let's let's first test it and see how it looks like okay it's actually okay like this i'm just going to add a little bit pad So I'm going to add a padding to okay. Let's make it eight point zero. Let's just make it eight point zero. All right, fair enough. I believe that is okay. And um, this post field here. Uh, let's just let's try and remove this um padding and let's see what we have. Right, so they are really okay now they're equal to each other very good 
All right, so once that is done already, yeah, the next one to do now is um, I want to have a const size box again. All right, so let's make it 30. So this is going to have all the posts, so I can have it. Sorry, I can have a text that says posts. Now, I want to go ahead and um, design our post. Oh, this is actually too much, so let's make 20. So for the post, we want the, the username, so I can go ahead and have, yeah, exactly. So I can go ahead and have the container height of 20, which should be this. So we should check it. So basically, this is what I want to be having. And uh, add this actually too much, so let's make it 100. No, let's just make it 150. All right, and uh, we don't want any color actually. Um, okay, no, let's give it a color then. Let's just give it a um, let's give it a width. Yeah, in case you want to have that, then inside of it, I gotta have a child. So this child is going to be a column. Inside the column, we have a children. So we want to first have a text. So let's just um pretend that we have a data already so you're just going to pass in the name of the person that posted it i remember this is going to be cross cross as an element of stats okay good then right under here we want to get to have um okay we don't have about us actually i believe we don't have about us so we can just go and have it have the email address here So you can go ahead and have the email address under. Okay, good. Then once that is done already, you can go ahead and have the const size box of 10. Then we can now go ahead and have the body. All right, very good. And um, this one we can make it 100 actually. But well, let's just remove the height. All right, so we move the eye so you like it to just take in the space that is available, I believe. So I'll give it a padding. All right, good. So let's just fix this a little bit. So, yeah, I'm going to have, have it style Google Fonts dot poppins. So we also have Google Fonts the Poppins. So yeah, we have to import um the package Google Fonts. Okay. We just have to make them this a little bit small because it's the email. Not popping, so we're gonna do uh, on size, make it that okay. Let's make it short actually. Save this. Uh, I'm having an error. Nope, save that and let's check it. No, I want it to actually be like very small. Okay, good, so small. Let me make it 10.0. All right, good. So yeah, that's what you want. And um this place looks somehow. So let's just do Lorem Miss Palm. See if I can get alright, good. Nice, so very nice. So once this is done already. Alright, so right under the text. I believe we can do it right under the text. We can go ahead and have a a row a row so this is going to be um this is going to be a like and a comment as you can see in this case this is not what we want actually because this is um this is our uh, this is returning a text and said no I'll let us join and what one so I see I call button.
They want to go ahead and have icon stomp up exactly. Now, why am I having this error? What type of error is expected to find this? Then, what is error? And I expected to find that. Okay. All right, nice. So we have our thumbs up, and now we can go ahead and add our icon button again for the comments. Icons, not thumbs down. Um, let us cut this message because there's no. You can't see I'm commenting it, so we are going to. All right, go. So this is okay. Then right. Okay, so where we have everything, we can just go ahead and we are going to extract it as a widget. So, where we have this container now, we are going to click on extract widget and you can call this um post. Let's call it post data. All right, let's call this post data. Uh, we can just cut this and go to the widget post data dot dot. So we can go ahead and import each dot material or that this is right here then we have to import google fonts actually so we have to import google fonts and um i'm just going to cut that one because we don't need it in that place i'm sure so we have this then right here we can go and import widget post data all right good Sorry, and uh, yep, we see have this same stuff. All right, and we, we can you can just actually make 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 use of it. Like I'm gonna copy this three times and um, see. Yep. So we have this error. The reason we're having that error is because we need to add um, this wrap this with a single child scroll view. All right. So basically, so we're able to scroll. As you can see, um, yep. So basically, that is everything we are doing in this tutorial. So in the next tutorial, we're going to start. Um, we'll consume virtual data from the API. See you next time. Peace.